Hi guys, on holiday, in a caravan, on a campsite. Uh, quick look round the caravan. It's quiet at the moment because the grandchildren are up at the um, slot machines. It's been raining, but I'm just looking out the window at the moment and it's sort of brightening up. The clouds are a lighter colour. So I was wondering, I've got all these things I've brought for us to do on the rainy days, how I might put this one together. Because the difficult bit is always putting the motor assembly, motor and gearbox together. That's what people seem to fail on when they do these kits. Get these kits from all sorts of different places, online and in shops. Quite often they're packaged slightly differently, but they've got the same contents. So they've obviously been cloned by lots of different companies, or one company is churning them out really cheaply, and other companies are boxing them up and selling them as their own. So, I've got a solar panel in there, and an electric motor, and gearbox and if you can get those bits assembled together okay the rest of it usually works okay so I'm going to have a little go at this and then if the sun comes out we'll find out if it works right let's have a look so that you seem to be able to get these from lots of different companies but they all seem to be the same inside. First thing I'll say is it's a solar kit. It only works in good sunlight. Quite a few people have commented on previous videos I've done with these that they don't work and they're rubbish. Well, they are cheap, so you can't expect too much from them. But they do try and show you that you need sunlight. I think somewhere in here it does actually say, here we are, yeah. Sun, full energy, in the house under a halogen light, 100 watts and up, it should work. Cloudy day, it won't work. So take outside under direct sunlight, best results are obtained when op operated on a sunny day. For indoor fun, use a 100 watt halogen light. The product will not run on a cloudy day, shady locations, in direct sunlight or under fluorescent light. LED light bulbs are no good either. You might get them to run just if you're lucky. But it's quite clear it's telling you a halogen light bulb if you're doing it indoors. An old fashioned uh, tungsten filament will work as well. But modern light bulbs don't give you the right sort of uh, wavelength. So, plenty of instructions. And in all cases, you're going to need to put the solar panel together and the gearbox. So, gearbox assembly and solar panel. Here's our electric motor, tiny electric motor. Whatever you do, don't pull the electric motor out and pull on these bits of wire. Because if you pull them out of the motor, it's useless. Your chances of actually getting that apart and replacing the wires are nil. These bits of wire, for connecting things together, there's actually two of them, or four of them in total, two pairs. One is long, 
one pair is long and one pair is short. So that's the short pair and that's the long pair. Depending on which project you're building, depends on whether you need the long wires or the short wires. In fact, looking at this kit, yeah, the only time you'll probably need long wires is if you're doing something like the windmill or wind turbine or whatever they call it. Um, okay, so we better start at number one. Number one, get your electric motor and you find the little gear, which is this one. And there's a front and a back. You look at the instructions, you'll see which way round it goes. You won't be able to see in my video because it's not close enough in. That's going to go on there. You might need to adjust the distance you push it on to make it mesh with the gears properly. this piece. You might need a sharp knife to trim off some of the flashing. Depends on how good the moulding is. But that's going to sit in there. Yeah, I might need to push that one just a little bit further. I think that's going to be all right there. And these two, it wants you to get the colours right. That's the red wire up here. And the black wire on this side. to assemble the shaft. And there's two of these. A long one and a short one. That's the short one and that's the long one. Just trying to read. telling you the lengths. That's annoying. Obviously in one of the kits that is already on there. I'm going to assume it's the longer one. Now if you push with your finger you'll hurt yourself. I'm going to get something to push with. I've got a coin. Let me actually show you a little picture of hitting it with a hammer. Now I need to push that on there further. my eyesight. A8 and A9. It's these two pieces anyway.
and this is where a sharp knife would be handy. Right, so it shows us that piece is going to be on that end. And the other piece on that end. These have got a line up. Oh, that's got to go forwards quite a lot further yet. Or am I using the wrong length shaft? Oh, that's annoying. Dear grandchildren are back. Hello, boys. Hello. I'm just having a little go at one of these. What are you trying to make? Do you make the panda? Then? I, I made the panda, yeah. You're making a panda? You always made a panda. Somebody. You've got someone new today. Panda? Mm hmm. Name I made it? Some fibers. Granddad. His name's Slush. Slush, is it? Can I see? And he's on. He's he, he was born with exactly the day Jordan. Same. He, when Jordan's. When it's Jordan's birthday, he's got. Yeah, you know, a year oh, older. Okay. Are you making a bed? No, I'm just assembling. Yeah, you put these in your mouth like washing your hands. I'm just assembling the gearbox at the moment, oh. and it's giving me a few problems because there's two bits of wire, and I don't know which Boy, one I'm supposed hand. to use. Boy, go and wash your hands. Oh, oh yeah. Actually, see. Ditch, watch, watch, watch. A watch of some sort, is it? I think he likes change, changes colour, like how hot it is. You can stroke slush as long as you do. It. By the way, dogs bark while well, wolves bite are worse than bark. No dogs bark worse than bite. Let's try this again. I'm turning him silver right now. Not the whole half silver. Half silver, that's what he likes. Hmm. Still not happy. Why? So I'm talking to the camera. You won a lot of prizes, no, well done. Mummy won a lot of prizes. Dad, you won eight of tickets. Thanks to Mummy. Huh? Thanks to Mummy for the money. Dad, actually, Mummy should have them. No, I should have. Why are you 
went to four and uh machine four. America. More mini bubbles. Wait, is it? Yeah, she looks cute. Little baby. Who's the one then? Then we got Kit. You still got some more. Zipper. No, it's there. What else do you think we are? There's nothing else in my bag, I don't think. Because we won't be able to hand them in broken, right? I think that we've yeah. faked it with that. So what's this? Jelly beans? Uh, bubbles. Very bubbles. One for you, one for your nanny, and one for granddad. Um, no. But didn't Sandra want one? No. I was working for my heart. Really hard to get them. And one of those were mummies and two of them were mine. Two. I think I got two. Yeah, it was me who got two. I can't believe this one's empty. Well, I was going to eat the jelly beans, but I can't, apparently. I can get more some. Brighter enough light anywhere. And bright halogen lights. Or direct sunlight. Just an example. You can see that's probably working. I haven't got anything like full sunlight. There's some light coming through the clouds. And that is working fine. Indoors, I couldn't get any of the lights to be bright enough to actually spin the motor. So you need real sunlight. And even on a dull light day like today, there's enough sunlight there to get that spinning. Hey, thanks for watching. There's plenty of videos on my main channel with more added daily. So don't forget to subscribe and enable the notifications to keep you up to date with my new releases. You can help keep my channel running by donating a dollar on Patreon to buy me coffee. You can always find more information in the video description. Thanks again for watching.